You are come at a good time. As you may have heard, we have something of a quandary on our hands. Laxon Loft here in Lakeland. Yulmor has sent one of its airships. They have questions for us concerning the death of the Light Warden. Their emissary makes his way here even as we speak. I suppose the sky does rather give the game away. Indeed. It was inevitable they would come knocking. The only question was how soon. My lord, I am come with the Yule Moran emissary. May I show him in? A moment, Captain, if you would. Everyone, gather round. I do not wish to show our hand prematurely. Forgive me this liberty. Vanish. Enter. Well, well. The commander of the Yulmoran army himself. To what do I owe the honor, General Ranjit? The Light Warden is dead, Exarch. We are people responsible. You are clearly in some haste, my lord. But before I uh, address your question, you must allow me one of my own. What is Yulmor's interest in this? His benevolence, Lord Vorthry, is gravely concerned that the actions of an ignorant few may jeopardize relations between man and Sin Eater. Should it transpire that the Crystarium is guilty of abetting the villains responsible for this outrage, my lord has decreed that it suffer the same retribution. I see. Since you have been so candid, I too shall speak my mind. Regardless of who is responsible, the Crystarium rejoices in the Light Warden's death and welcomes the return of the night sky. If Yulmore considers this tantamount to aiding those you term villains, then by all means, carry out your retribution. Know, however, that even should every innocent soul in the Crystarium perish, nothing can stop that which has been set in motion. <sighs> Folly. The death of one or a thousand thousand Sin Eaters changes nothing. The world is dead and writhe as we might, like maggots in its rotting course. It will not be reborn. Only by my master's grace may we live out our days in peace. But I waste my breath. You have made your stance clear. I shall relay your words to Lord Vorthry. In the meantime, you would do well to counsel any here who have done more than merely rejoice in recent events to throw themselves upon Yulmore's mercy promptly.
one last matter. We are searching for a young artist and his assistant. Know you of whom I speak? An artist and his assistant? No. I cannot say I do. What a pity. Should they reveal themselves to you? I bid you hand them over at once. My master is most eager to see them again. things, or did he just stare straight at us? I fear he did. The General is not a man to be trifled with. He is a warrior of fearsome repute who has led Yormor's army since before Valthry's time, when the nation still spearheaded the fight against the Sin Eaters. One does not command the world's mightiest army and for so long without possessing exceptional instincts. If you more chose to send such an individual, we must assume this talk of retribution is more than an idle threat. While we are grateful for your support, my lord, we cannot in good conscience put your people in harm's way. It is noble of you to say, Master Alphano, but my people have been in harm's way since long before you arrived. Yulmore has ever yearned to rule over what remains of the world. Even should we surrender the Warrior of Darkness to them, they would find some other pretext upon which to invade. The people of the Crystarium know this only too well, which is why, when the time comes, I am certain they will fight to the last man. If truth be told, I would not have been surprised had Ranjit declared war here and now. He may have reason to delay. According to reports, the Yulmoran forces at Luxon Loft were observed taking a prisoner. A young woman believed to be none other than the Oracle of Light, Minfilia. It may be that General Ranjit wishes to convey her to Yulmor before commencing hostilities. Having mentored generations of Minfilias, it would not surprise me if he had made her capture his chief concern. Ah, of course. How remiss of me. I had intended to speak to you of Minfilia. There is, however, much to say, and precious little time in which to say it. I think it best that you seek out Moren at the Cabinet of Curiosity. He will be able to enlighten you. Alphino, Alizé, would you care to accompany your friend? You doubtless have insights of your own to offer on the matter. All right, though I'm still not sure I understand it all myself. In the meantime, I will set about making provisions for war. <laughs> 